Tuna feather got tight. Clicker's right there. Yeah, it's on. This is on too. So we just had both rods go off. Shelby's fighting the one on the orange avid on a tuna feather, and then this was the drone spoon. Little Bonita. Keep them because we're gonna keep all of them for strips because I don't have any strips left. It's a little blackfin. A little blackfin on the drone spoon. There we go, we got dinner. See, doubled up. You always usually catch Bonita with usually catch Bonita with uh blackfins mixed in. I'm telling you guys this lure is a fish catching magnet right here. All it is is a stupid little spoon, but it slays. So pretty. Look at that. Woo. So they were out deep. How deep was that? Like 200? No, one, like oh, really? There, it is. there we go. That's on. Brooke, you reel it in. I'll drive. Now, babe's hooked up. There it is. There it is. <laughs> He's a little rascal. Another bony. See, Brick is hooked up again on the jig, on the uh, tuna feather. Hey, that might be better. That might be better. On the tuna feather. Yeah, this isn't a bonita unless it's... I just shook its head. Yeah, that's your first one, isn't it? Yep. That's always cool. Is it a lawn brook? Yeah, I think it is. Is it a little king? Oh man, it's a tiny king. Yeah, but I think it's- It just it's... came off. Oh, it did? Why is our strip getting no love? Come on! This thing should be getting smoked. Oh, hook that! <laughs> yeah, I'm videoing. We saw them right there and they were there. Oh, that's funny. You guys, we're not catching giants, but we're catching fish. And that's what we're out here to do. We're keeping busy. And that's the one thing about planer fishing and trolling is it can not it can be really exciting and it can be really boring, but today's one of those times where it's exciting because every 10 or 15 minutes, not even five minutes, we're getting hits, you know? We're catching little bonitas. We're gonna use those for bait later. We're catching black fins for dinner. Go ahead, man. TJ, you want to? No, you're on. Vic's turn. Uh, this might not be a bonita. Damn, pissed. I mean, this thing went straight down. Hook just pulled. Yeah. Oh, what? What? I don't know if it's the same thing. Probably <laughs> I don't know if it's the same. 
It's either the same thing or he was just swimming in, but it felt like it pulled. It looked like it did. It did, didn't it? It the went slack. I don't know. I don't know. It felt like the hook pulled and then I was reeling it in as fast as I could and something else ate it. Maybe something else did eat it. I said, we're tight, we're catching fish. We ain't catching giants. We have lots of action today. I think it's gonna be a, another football black thing. See it? What is it? I don't know, I really can't tell. No, it's a bigger black fin. Bring them in. Oh God. I mean, it's the biggest one of the day. There we go. Here is a little black fin. Look at him dead on. They are such sick looking fish. Look at that blue line right along his body with the gold and amber. So pretty. You can catch them during the middle of the day. All on this stupid little, on this thing right here, absolutely kills the tuna. This is a tuna feather right here, and they love it. Look like dolphins. Oh, one of them just hit right there. There we go. Yeah, it's not a dolphin though. I thought I could have sworn I saw a dolphin though. I thought I did too. Look at this GPS right here. Look at the fish finder. It is loaded, but nobody's gotten a hit so far. We got TJ jigging, we have his girlfriend Shelby jigging, and Brooks jigging. I'm just doing a little filming, and we have not gotten oh, any. This just kidding. Really <laughs> gotcha. so we put down the uh, planer rods. We got a cooler full of Bonita for bait, and um, we also have a bunch of black fins. Probably got four or five black fins in there. And yeah, so we wanted to change it up though. We got a little tired of trolling the planers around, so we're gonna go ahead and try to jig some stuff up. We're not on the wreck right now, but we gotta get back on it. Oh, I got cut. Really? Yeah. I saw that. I boat, get in the boat. Big, 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 help me. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> you caught a freaking yeah! yellow jack on a knife! <laughs> you guys, this is not. This is real. Look at that on a freaking butter knife. <laughs> you guys, this is no BS. This is the yellow jack Rick just caught. You guys saw me flip it over the side. I'm not posting the video on my channel. I just want you guys to look at this because this is unreal. And it goes to show you that fish are stupid at the end of the day. This resembles a vertical jig, but if you guys want to see the full fight and how Brooke actually made this knife happen and made it a badass in the work, you guys, the link will be in the description box below for her video, okay? Woo! Oh yeah, second fish on the knife. <laughs> oh, another one on the knife. That is wild, Brooke. We got something teeny weeny on the vertical jig. Not as big, big as Brooke's knife fish. Only the knife catches the big ones. Mr. Blue Runner. Big old oceanic runner. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. We had, uh, I'd say, a pretty eventful day offshore. Oh, yeah. Oh, Shelby yeah. got on her first ever blackfin tuna. Yeah. That's why it's exciting when you knock out your first species. I and got my first fish on a knife. <laughs> <laughs> that was two was, fish on a knife. <laughs> that was so sick, guys. But seriously, if you want to see the full video, tell them what you did. Tell them real quickly. Well, I made a jig with a knife. I threw some hooks on there, and I caught a fish on it, so. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. I, I'm Brooks just she's still at a loss for words. So if you guys want to see that video will be in the description box below and thank you Mr. TJ. Thank you. TJ and I got it done. Um, he was my right hand man on the planers and yeah so huge announcement. Check this out guys. Brooke will you take the camera real quick? Yep. Look at these. We got all new performance t-shirts right here and I'm gonna have them in multiple colors. I'm thinking of doing some pastel colors some white, um, maybe a black shirt. But the thing is they're not up for sale yet because I don't know exactly which manufacturer I wanna go with. I wanna get the highest quality shirts for you guys. So 
Definitely be on the lookout though. Performance shirts are common. These things are so comfortable. If you guys fish offshore, you guys fish in general, breathable material, um, moisture wicking, you gotta get some. So when those hit the streets, I will let you guys know. And until that next video, I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next video. Thank you. Oh,